Case 14. That's a so, beauty. This is again a very nice one. So we don't see any skin over here. Nope. We just see an organism. Yep. Which is a pig. Uh, it has like this pigmented mouth part. Uh, and we can see striated muscles. Yeah. Tightness wall around. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah, so this is a, a, a tick. The mouth parts would be down here. The body kind of protruding up here. This is probably a section of one of its legs with like a little claw or, you know, pincher on the end. I don't know what the proper term is. And I've always been fascinated. It's like a world within a world, right? It's like, uh, you know, a, the microanatomy of a tick. And these are skeletal muscle. And their skeletal muscle has peripheral nuclei just like ours. Isn't that wild? It's so crazy. And then what's all this stuff? Organs inside here. Like, look, if that cell were in our body, that nucleus, as a, if you took it as a ratio to the cross section of the body, that nucleus would be like the size of a, a baseball or a ping pong ball or something. It would be cancer in a human body, but it seems to just be normal in the tick. And I've often wondered what all these things are. And I, I got went down a rabbit hole last night looking for this. There is surprisingly little that I could find of H and E sections of tick with an explanation of the microanatomy. So if you're watching this online and you know um, a good resource, please um, post the link to it. That would be great. Um, but I did find this schematic, and it was a uh, entomology, a tick dissection guide, which is from the uh, Mississippi Entomological Association. I'll put a link below. It's freely available online on uh, their website, and it's a beautiful uh, example of a schematic here showing that a lot of the stuff we're seeing inside probably is gut and salivary gland, and maybe there are some ovaries or, or um, gonadal structures and then also the um, the uh, skeletal muscle, which is the only structure I can really recognize. And they show how to glue the tick down and peel off its uh, scutum and look at all. Isn't that wild? So crazy. So uh, anyway, go check that out if you're looking how to dissect a tick. And if you can tell me what all these different things are microscopically, that would be great. I've got another uh, post on Kiko that shows a, another view of a cross section of a tick. But I think a lot of these are going to be digestive tract and maybe some salivary gland and some muscle skeletal muscle in there and uh, I kind of wonder if that's like a brain structure some entomologists out there will watch us and be like oh bro no definitely not but there is something called like a central ganglion which I think is like the equivalent of a brain I don't know pretty wild huh so anyway tick and that's that yellow chitin right there that we see in the embedded mouth part so a lot of times all we see is this stuff right here embedded down in the skin but every time once in a while we get lucky and get a whole tick submitted and I always think it's fun to submit that just because it's a pretty section to look at so tick microanatomy uh, right here. And again, look at that jagged kind of um, geometric lines or linear structures that you see in the um, exoskeleton. You can see similar kind of uh, shape in, in um, scabies mites, but this is way too big to be a scabies mite.